Jay is really an extension of the spirituality of Jean Dugan, so we work alongside the Little Sisters to bring that same charism. Uh, I am involved in the HJJ, as you know, the HJJ is lay Catholic people, men and women, who already desire to uh, give their time and uh, their desire to share in the spirituality and the charism of our congregation, Little Sisters of the Poor. I started visiting a friend of mine who came into the home about six years ago and Sister Jacinta, who was a sister here, suggested that I become one of the AJJ members and um, so I had a year's formation to find out what it meant and what was involved and um, then I decided to make the promise for one year. We have a whole variety of people in the AJJ. We definitely have more women than men but we certainly do have men. And the men can actually do the, some of the things that the, the ladies don't do, such as accompanying the male residents to hospitals or going and sitting and chatting with them about football or whatever takes their interest. And it's, it, they offer a different kind of um, support than some of the ladies do. It's, it's just doing those little things, but doing them well. And it's amazing what you can do with the residents when you do something very small for them and they smile and they're so appreciative. Uh, just by saying hello and asking how they are, it actually means an awful lot to them. It really does. When I walk in the door, I, I just feel, I feel relaxed. I feel, I feel happy, you know, and all the smiling faces of the residents and they're happy to see me when I come. And I get so much love from them, you know, that, um, for me, it's one of the highlights of my week. People can take time out if they wish. Um, it's not something that you have to be in for the rest of your life. It's not like the sisters who make vows, um, you know, perpetual vows. We just make a simple promise and we do it every year. Whatever is going on in your life, outside you walk into the home and there's that sense of peace there's that sense of purpose that you're actually in a small way you're making a difference um, and it's knowing when you're not there that you're being supported spiritually as well um, and so I think it's very much being part of a big extended family. <laughs> <laughs>